scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Yeah. Let me speak to you by the Spirit. I truly sense not everybody, but there are a few people here who are wrapping up an old season. And are about to enter new seasons in the spirit. Now, of course, what God says to one, he says to all. But there are specific people. Very specific people. God has shown you in dreams. The situations around your life have shown. Just help them. This is a miracle service. Very specific people. A season is coming to an end in your life. And God is opening up new seasons. Sir, are you a man of God? What do you do? What do you do? I want to pray for you. The call of God is upon your life. Come. Can I pray for you? Stand up. What's your name? I'm looking at the name that Elijah was called in the New Testament is your name. What is your name? Elias. I want to pray for you. Please help us with a mic in, in case. I stretch my hands, my friend. Listen to me. In the name that is above all names, may you step into a new season. New season of power. And a new season of grace. Madam, I release you to a new season. I'm seeing oil being poured on your head. Ah. A new season. The Lord is telling me that in this season, He's also bringing you restoration. Super, I don't know you from anywhere, but I pray for you. May that anointing come upon your life and shift you to a new level. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight I'd like for your heart to be opened. I'm not going to be teaching for too long just to establish a few things. There are people whose situations have called on heaven. God needs to step in and turn people's lives around. Hallelujah. That lady sitting by the edge, stand up. The one, yes, you. What's your name? Let it be a new season for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Gabriel, I'm hearing a name, Gabriel, 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 we'll get to the word, Gabriel, who is Gabriel? I'm hearing a name, Gabriel. Just, just a moment or two, the man I'm talking about, what is your name, sir? Huh? I'm not hearing. Please come. Do you believe in miracles? 
Father, for the sake of your glory and your name, right now I stretch my hands. May your life and your entire family take that grace now. You step into a new season, never to be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Exodus, my spirit is fired up tonight. Exodus chapter 3. Exodus chapter 3. Exodus chapter 3. Please sing that. Exodus chapter 3. We'll start from verse 1. Just to establish one or two scriptures. The Bible talks about this man called Moses. That he kept the flock of his father-in-law. Little did he know that there was destiny upon him. That he was going to be the vessel that God would use to literally take the nation of Israel from bondage to a land flowing with milk and honey. Even though he did not get to the land, but were interested in the fact that a young, frail gentleman who ran away because he killed an Egyptian, he did not know that the hand of God was upon his life. And that one day he would be a savior and save about 2.5 million people thereabout and bring them from the grip of Pharaoh and even of Egypt. Verse 1 down to 15 tells us his encounter with the God of heaven. Particularly when we go to verse 9, chapter, chapter 9, Exodus chapter 9 from verse 1. We're coming back to verse 3, but please go to Exodus chapter 9. The Lord said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh. By the time God was done with this man, the weak man who was running away was now sent back to the place of his fears. But not as the one who left. He says, go into Pharaoh and tell him, thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, let my people go. They need to go and serve me. But you are constraining them. That Pharaoh of sickness, that Pharaoh of finances, he said, I want to visit them, but Moses, you go. Stand before Pharaoh and tell Pharaoh, thus saith the Lord, let my people go. They need to go and serve me. Poverty has kept them down. They need to go and serve me. Delay and retrogression has kept them down. It was for this instruction, the entire journey of Exodus chapter 3, the revelation, the encounters, was to prepare him for the times when he will go and talk to Pharaoh. Did you know that most of the things you've gone through in your life are simply preparatory classes? Because you are about to step into seasons where God is going to begin to send you to the business world. Send you to ministry. Send you to politics and governance. Regardless the geography of your assignment, the instruction is the same. Whenever you find Pharaoh anywhere, Speak to him and say, I have come representing heaven. Let my people go. Now listen to me. This is very important. Because this is the primary assignment of a witness. The Bible tells us that we have a corporate mandate. Regardless the geography of our assignment, John chapter 1 and verse 6, this is the corporate mandate of the believers. The Bible says there was a man, hallelujah, everybody says sent. The man did not just arrive. He passed through the womb of a woman. 
You call him a South African. God said he came from God. He only passed through the physical territory of South Africa. When you, when you try to identify that individual based on geography, you can say he's a South African, he's an African. But when you want to trace this man according to his divine location and his destiny, he's more than a South African. He's more than an African. The Bible said there was a man. No name. The man was sent from God. When he arrived the earth, they gave that man a name. They called him you. But he came from heaven. Please pay attention. With one singular assignment. Never forget this. This is the corporate mandate of every believer. Whether you are a politician, whether you are a businessman, your corporate mandate is in verse 7. Read with me, believers. One, two, read. Verse 7. One, the same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him, his witness, might believe. This is it. So while they call you whatever your name is, that name is just a system of earthly identification. The real name God calls you is witness. He does not even call you a man of God. He does not even call you a businessman. I told you yesterday that our titles are simply a description of the geography of our assignment. But he calls us witnesses. Who is a witness? A witness is a validator of a claim. The assignment of a witness is to make sure that the claims that are before the table are not negated by any other person. In fact, you do not need a witness until there is the contention to a claim. Is that true? When you go to the court of law and you table a matter and someone is trying to oppose you, the judge would invite you to bring a witness. Please listen very carefully. The assignment of that witness is to prove the truthfulness of that statement. And every witness is empowered with a token of truthfulness called evidence. If you are truly a witness from God, from heaven, he does not let you go alone. He grants you the capacity to prove that point, he gives you an evidence. Are we together now? The same came for a witness to the light that all men through him might believe. So when the devil is ravaging creation and it looks like destinies are under siege, what happens is that because of all those things, Satan uses men as a canvas to write a letter to God. I doubt your might. I doubt your power. Are you God indeed? So God says, where are the witnesses? Because I need to reply. There needs to be a reply. When God sends you as a witness and gives you the evidence... When God uses you to lift people, to break yokes and burdens, He has used you to reply. Are we together now? The healing, the miracles are replies from God. I am still God seated on the throne. But every time there are no witnesses, God will always look like a fraud star. Every time there are no witnesses, God will always look like a scammer. Every time there are no witnesses, God will always look like he is not God. It is the absence of witnesses across a territory that makes darkness look so powerful. The Bible says in John chapter 1 and verse 5, And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Is it in your Bible? 
Do you know the interesting thing about darkness? Even if a room has been dark for one year, the moment you switch on the light, the light does not respect the longevity of the darkness. It becomes lightened immediately. Darkness of one year and darkness of two days and darkness of five years and darkness of 20 years, they are all solved by the same instance, light. You would think that the longevity of the darkness would threaten the strength of the light. When you switch on the light, you will not know which of the room was dark first. All of them come under the influence of that light. So don't you tell me I've been in this condition for 30 years. Don't tell me I have been in this situation my entire family. Don't even say it just started last week. In light of the power of light, it doesn't really matter. If it is light indeed. Hmm. You are here working miracles. I worship you, I worship you, you are here, turning lives around, I worship you, I worship you, we call you way maker, miracle walk, promise keep, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Listen, by the privilege of God's grace, and I do not mean to sound arrogant, but by the privilege of the election of grace, I have spent my life literally watching the manifest power of God over lives, over territories. I know miracles are real i know that god can move and shift systems within a moment now please hear me as mighty as god is he will always use men to achieve his purposes you have to understand this the bible says and by a prophet the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt. He was the one who brought them. But the agency, the vehicle, was a prophet. He says, and by a prophet was he preserved. We have come tonight to give God an opportunity to give us visitations. Visitations over our lives. Now listen, in as much as we do not serve God because of miracles, because of signs and wonders, we love Him more than that. But can I tell you, He is loving enough to be attentive to our needs. When they camped with Him three days, He kept teaching, 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 and the disciples said, these people are hungry, let them go. He said, no, this is not consistent with my character. I must take responsibility for their commitment. Feed them. How do we feed these people? You cannot tabernacle here. Leaving all the things that you have to do. Some of you have closed businesses. Some of you have made all kinds of sacrifices. The God that we serve is a loving God. The God that we serve is a powerful God. And tonight he has chosen by his wisdom to reveal himself as that all-powerful God. Listen, listen to me. I, I wish I had time. I would have shared with you a few encounters, especially from scripture and then in my own life. I have seen the miracle power of God. I have been in situations in my life where I needed the manifestation of God's power. And I have seen him come through. This God you see is dependable. This God you see is reliable. Look up. Can I tell you something? Because of our human nature, 
there is a way you can be so overwhelmed by the reality of your frustration, your financial situation, whatever it is, that you may not believe. You may say amen, but somewhere in your heart you say, look, I, I've, been, I've, I've been here in such, I've been here long enough. In fact, I did not even write my condition in the prayer request because I'm not sure if God can attend to me. Brothers and sisters, if you being evil, the Bible says, that means as evil as men are, even terrorists take care of their families while they kill others. That means he's saying that as evil and wicked as people are, there is still a, a part of them that can communicate compassion. He said, how much more? Your heavenly father. So the proof of his fatherhood is his ease to release blessings to you. Please, I want you to believe this because we are going to get into a very serious session right now. I want you to be dissatisfied. Everything that does not name the name of Christ in your life, be ready to wave it goodbye. Be ready to wave it goodbye. And insist that it waves you back. Are we together? There are many of us here under the sound of my voice. What will take one month to do will now take you ten years to do. There is a spirit behind that kind of thing. Just help those under the anointing. My spirit is fired up. I have seen people, let me tell you this. You know that delays at work in your life when the only thing growing in your life is your age. Some of us are connected to men and women who can be used by God to lift us. They will watch you like this and promise you heaven and hell. And go around and bless others and you stand there as though you are not covered by favor. Please pay attention to what I'm telling you. Why do we need results in our lives? Don't you dare look down on the need for results. If your life does not produce results, your Christian experience will be frustrated. John chapter 15 and verse 8. Here's what it says. Herein is our Father glorified. When ye bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. In Matthew chapter 5, Jesus teaching what we call the Beatitudes. When you read from verse 15 and 16, he says, let your light so shine before men. Not in heaven, not before angels, before men, that they might see your good deeds and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. John chapter 17 and verse 1, Jesus lifted up his eyes to heaven and prayed and this is what he said. Father, the hour has come. He says, glorify thy Son, that thy Son may glorify you. If the sons in light are not glorified, God cannot be glorified. Let me tell you honestly, God is not glorified when believers are poor, broke, limited, frustrated, oppressed. Those things do not spell a good image of this God that the Bible talks about. So when he comes to you, he comes to lift. He comes to tear down everything that mocks his integrity over your life. Are you blessed tonight? What should we expect tonight? Expect to be healed. What should we expect tonight? Expect to be delivered. All kinds of yokes and, and devilish things that have tied destinies down. I have been oppressed. I know what it means to be oppressed. Hmm. Did he not say the spirit of the Lord is upon me? For he hath anointed me to preach glad tidings to the poor. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, to open up prison doors. Have you seen any physical prison with a man inside? There are human beings moving physically, but they are in prison. Open up those closed doors. Most of you have become an object of shame and mockery to yourself and all who know you. 
They call you by all kinds of names and say you are there serving God, praying, fasting, rolling on the ground. There is nothing in your life that shows like God is alive. And can I tell you, that mockery has reached the heavens. God is now saying, I'm a warrior. Clear the road for me. I want to have a holy convocation in the midst of my people. He says, the Lord in the midst of thee is mighty. So I'm saying this because in the next two, three minutes, we are going to pray and shake off unbelief. Shake off unbelief and say, I believe, I know, I know that God can change my life. I know that while I'm seated here, God can begin to move over someone and that person will not have rest tonight until he calls me and says, where have you been? I have been looking for you. Then you know that this one is not the doing of man. Please believe what I'm telling you. I'm not, I'm not just, this is not some, I fear God, I will not come here and waste your time. You see, let me tell you this. It is seen to attempt to communicate a spiritual reality that is higher than the dimension of grace you have. The Bible says to minister according to the measure of grace. Difficult things that are supposed to be easy. But there are people who sit, you start a, a building project, for years you are still at it, years you are still at it, as if it's a cause. I hope you are not offended. I'm challenging you because God is determined to visit you this night. Now please listen carefully. Please listen carefully. Can I be very honest with you under God? Primarily, over 80% of the challenges of men, listen carefully. 80% or more of the challenges of men, there are spirits and forces behind it. Find a way of believing that this is true. He says the enemy has done this. Jesus clearly told us that the enemy has done this. And so he has sent us and anointed us tonight. And granted us the privilege of grace. I thought I'll be able to share a few things, but there's no time for that. I really want to maximize the time to do that which we have to do so that we'll finish on time and then you make for your coffee. But let me share with you one experience. I have spent my life in encounters. It is an election of grace. The privilege of God's grace. And... I, I don't know if I shared it last when I was here, but please pay attention. When the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me, I was flat on the ground, and he, I don't know if he, his feet was on the ground or he was in the air. I can't even tell you. Light at his brilliance, splendor. I could look at any part of him forever. There I was like a dead man, looking at this great God that preachers talk about all the time. And I said, my God, what will preachers do when they see him? When I saw him, he didn't open his mouth to say anything to me. And yet he was speaking to me. This is a strange thing about spiritual encounters. And he stretched forth his hand, and light from him entered into my being. Light that ordinarily is like throwing a TV set inside a, a volcano. It should disintegrate it in a moment. How I did not die, it will never tire me to say this, is a miracle that I will ask him to help me explain when we get to heaven. But from that encounter and that light, my life changed. I began to experience phenomenal levels of revelation, phenomenal levels of his power. And in one other encounter, listen very carefully. I saw people who were sick, people who were oppressed, all kinds of people. And it was as though, you know how a lockdown is, like a curfew. 
And I saw the people just lined up on the street. And I was broken. I said, I mean, who did this to these people? And then I heard a voice speak to me from heaven. That I should go and heal them all. And when I heard that voice, I said, this is it. I knew that that was true. Hmm. I was worshipping the Lord. And then the Lord comes to me to give me an encounter. And he says, my son, from this day I give you my presence as a gift. Please listen carefully. Can you help me with a little volume? And then, my eyes are open and I see this being standing by me. And I said, who is this? And he said, he will walk with you as you go to the nations. I said, what is his name? And he said, he's called the angel of the Lord's presence. I told you that I will explain to you what is responsible for some of these manifestations that you see. I cannot take credit for it. And every time I step into a place, he comes with that spiritual climate to deliver, to heal, to save, to change, to lift burdens. That is the reason why you can hear that in a moment, oh Jesus, the twinkling of an eye, an age-long captivity, just like that. Just like that. Just like that. It is the power of the Holy Spirit. I know. Now listen. Please listen. I'm about to begin to minister to people. Just pay attention. I didn't used to walk very strongly in the prophetic. I had miracles and all of that. But one night, I was watching William Branham. An old video of his. And I said, look at this dear man. People persecuted him, misunderstood him because maybe towards the end of his life, things just changed like that. And while I was looking at him, I said, but this man feared God. He may have made mistakes, but this is a sincere man. All of a sudden, it was like something, a cold sensation from that laptop to my head. It started going down right my whole body within a period of 30 minutes and after that by the next meeting i went to the heavens had opened what what is what is happening to me i wasn't born with this now please hear me the lord gave me an instruction and he said every nation and every territory Please help me. Someone sit on the drums for me. Just a symbol. Eh? Anybody who understands what to do. He says, every nation that I will send you to, that light that came from me to you, there must be someone in that meeting that that same light will rest upon them. And I tell you, by the God of heaven, I have remained faithful to that call. From nation to nation. And tonight, by the privilege of the election of grace, I have come as one sent. You have received me. And the God of heaven is about to move in this place. And bring glory to the name of Jesus. Age long captivities. Just like that. Doors of destinies that have been closed. Parus, Kadeka, Kanias, Kadila, Kaparus, Doors just like that. Atmosphere shift now. Change be broken. Break now. Holy Spirit move now. Heaven oh. I want to pray for you now. Please pay attention. Your life is about to change. 
Now here's what will happen. I'm going to minister to people. Just walk with the ushers and let's just walk so we redeem time. What is your name, sir? What do you do? I'm seeing you. Please, someone help us with an extra mic. Is that possible? Please. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you in a vision sitting on a table. And I'm seeing you with money. I'm seeing you with files. And I'm seeing you talking to people. What do you do? I'm a financial advisor. You are a financial advisor. You are a financial advisor. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, He's shifting you to a new season. It will not be like before. He's connecting you to kings and nobles. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready now? I want to pray for you. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. He said that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven of things in the earth and of things under the earth i want to pray for you now please listen at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus there are yokes that have sat upon the destinies of people and as you shout that name the power of god comes upon you please i like you to bring those people under the anointing gently and just bring them out here without disrupting the men of god are we together we have to be very fast at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus everywhere inside outside father i have come as you have sent me over the land of south africa that every spirit that does not name the name of christ in the name of jesus i come tonight by the rod of a higher priesthood and i decree and declare as you shout let every wall of Jericho, let every spirit manipulating your destiny leave you now. Please, whether you are an usher or not, once they begin to shout and people are under the anointing, they shout the name Jesus, help them. If someone is falling under the anointing close to you, please help them so they don't injure themselves. Are you ready now? Father, let the band of wickedness be loose once and for all. At the count of three, shout that name that is above every other name. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Every yoke, every bondage. Kaparakatos katebekata. Embrakatos katikata. I command every power that is not of God sitting on your destiny. I rebuke you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Now listen carefully. I'm still praying. There are families that never rise beyond a certain level, no matter the level of educational qualification. Tonight I've come. Mani ketas kalikata. Every family. Under that yoke. Ragata free. May fire fall. From heaven. Over this place. Are you ready? One. Two. Three. Take that fire. Shaya. Take that fire. Rata baya. Rata baya. Rata baya. Rata Rata baya. Rata baya. Rata baya. Be free now. Be free now. Release your destinies. Release your destinies. Release your destinies. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Kanambaratos Kadosh. Kaliparakatos Yata. Hallelujah. 
I'm seeing chains on people's hands. This is what I'm seeing. And this has, this has limited your productivity. You do things and nothing works. Ministry, business, right now I pray upon any hand where there is a chain limiting you from rising. I'm seeing fire coming on hands. Fire, fire coming on hands. I burn that chain. I burn that chain in the name of Jesus. Rada balagane kete bregado e parada yaman randa yada di fronte koto kono kono e teke de parada shaya abrande kete kete re palo kete bregado e pagarada ya yes chains be broken be broken be broken de kapa para de kapa hallelujah. The Lord is ministering to me and is showing me a woman. Six years, you are yet to give birth. Six years. Please, who is that person? I want to pray for you. Your time has come. Six years. We are still praying. Get dissatisfied tonight. Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus, enough is enough. Please, when you find that person very quickly, let me talk to that person because we have to shift. Now, the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing a family. There is a pattern of death. Almost every year, someone must die. Something happens mysteriously. People just continue to die. I stretch my hands. I don't know who belongs to such a family. Right now I decree and declare any family that has the spirit of death. Romi abakatos ketebakata. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Oh death, where is your sting? And oh grave, where is your victory? How many years have you been married? I will pray for you, but the one, I'm looking for the one who is six years. Six years without a child. Who is that? Please, very quickly. I will pray for you. Mm. Six years, my dear. You believe in Jesus Christ? Place your hand on your womb. I don't care what the medical situation is. Believe in Jesus. Listen. When you see us talk like this, we are not stupid people. There is a name that is higher and greater of the three of you, the power of God is coming on one of you right now. And when that happens, then I pray for the rest. This is the instruction I'm receiving. I just saw fire, light coming on one of you. These ones who are standing here. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The same, same time. Same six years. The power of God is coming on one of you. One of you that are standing here. In the name of Jesus, may that anointing rest upon you. And turn your life around supernaturally. When that power comes on one of you, one of you right now, as I'm speaking, my dear, shout Jesus, be free now. Look at me, my dear, in the name of Jesus, I command your womb to open now. According to the time of life I speak to you, in the name of Jesus Christ, Look at me. Your time of shame and the mockery over your life. This is what the Holy Spirit is telling me. That he is rolling away that reproach. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Are you the one trusting God for the fruit of the womb? Place your hand there. You believe in Jesus? Don't cry. This is what happens when Jesus comes. A revelation of his love. 
I lay my hands upon you and in the name of Jesus, I command that devil, let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that womb be open. Ephata, open hita and tita. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now hear me for all of you who are standing here. Release her destiny now. Now, let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. I release your family. I release everything. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now let me pray for you. I just saw light coming upon you. And the Lord is saying it's your season of fruitfulness. This woman, let it be over right now. In the name of Jesus. You know, I have lived in this reality for many years. But I never get used to it. I still marvel myself at the power of God. I stand, I stand in awe of you, Jesus. I stand, I stand in awe of you, Holy God, to whom all praise is due. I stand in awe of you. No. Bring her back. Please place your hand on your stomach. Jesus, for your glory, let it come to an end. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I speak to you and I release the power of the Holy Spirit. Let it be over now. You will go and you will return with miracles according to the time of life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I'm hearing a name Mary. I'm hearing a name Mary. Now, of course, I presume that there might be a, a number of people with such a name. But I'm hearing a name Mary. 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 I just want to speak to you very quickly. And then... Your name is Mary. You're a member of this church. We're going to pray. Sir, look at me. Please tap that man. I don't know you, but as soon as you came out here, the Lord just opened my eyes and I saw you climbing a ladder. Can I pray for you? I'm not, I'm not manipulating you to come out here at all. It's just a word. Look at me, sir. I stretch my hands by the spirit of grace and prophecy. Step into a new season. In the name of Jesus. I don't know what it is that you do, but I release grace upon you. An end comes to this current level. For someone, what you are watching happen here, that is the grace you will take back to your church. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural signs. Genuine genuine manifestations of the power and the grace and the glory of God can I be honest with you not everyone is pretending and faking this thing that's right, there are that's people right. who have encountered the God of the Bible since yes yesterday. sir yes sir bring the lady that shouts loud right now under the anointing to the hearing of everyone Please don't come out at random. We have to. Mary, I want to pray for you. You get the glory. You get the praise. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you. You get the glory. You get the praise. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you. So in my life, in my life, be glorified. Be glorified. In my pray 
for you. My dear, look at me. I stretch my hands. I'm seeing God take something out of your body. And the Lord is saying he's bringing you life right now. I cause the spirit that is back of this. Be free now. In the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what has made you to cry. But I'm declaring to you right now. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. These are extensions of the hands of Jesus. That everything. Remember not the former things madam. Nor consider the things of old. For behold. God is doing a new thing in your life. He's doing a new thing in your life. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. January this year. You lost your job. Who is that person? I'm seeing this in a vision. January this year. Just like that. For reasons you cannot explain. The Lord is asking me to pray for you. We have to hurry up. January. Please make sure you are not. Please don't tell lies. We are in the presence of God. I will pray for everybody. Make sure that we are walking in truth. Madam, I don't know who you are. Please just let me talk with this lady. Yes. Come. Can I pray for you? I'm, I'm looking at you and in the realm of the spirit I'm seeing you know how like a ceremony happening that maybe you are, you are crowning someone that's what I'm seeing happening to you and the Lord is telling me that he's lifting you and opening doors that you have not even seen before I want you to believe this this is the word of the Lord I stretch my hands over you and in the name of Jesus may that grace come upon you that will shift you to a new realm in the name of Jesus and by the power that raised Jesus from the dead let there be a miracle for you right now in the name of Jesus Christ where are you coming from? in the name of Jesus Christ let there be a miracle for you right now God is able to do just what He says He will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause He won't give up on you. Jesus name I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit madam I do not know you but I ask the Lord by his spirit to open up a new chapter for your life you believe that in the name of Jesus I declare by the Spirit of God that grace comes upon you right now my dear this lady I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus I'm seeing your shoes being changed in the realm of the spirit like another kind of shoe is given to you this is what I'm seeing. And the Lord is saying you will begin to run. He's bringing a, a very strange grace for multiplication over your life. Receive that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I can't even remember why they are here. Mary, I want to pray for you. The last time I was here, there was the name of a place that God gave me. I couldn't pronounce it. Yes. Please help me pronounce that. Umalanga. There is a businessman. You are from that place. Right now as I'm speaking, the Lord wants to change your life. Who is that person? You are wearing black like a jacket or something. I'm seeing it. Is there someone like that? Just take it easy, my friend. Where are you coming from? Is... Stand up. What do you do? But things are not working. You believe that I can pray for you and God will change your life? I stretch my hands. Let captivity come to a Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I open up that door by the Spirit. Let it be a new season for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where, where are you coming from? 
Is it coming from that place? What do you do, sir? There's someone that I'm seeing. You're into IT. This is what I'm seeing. You're into IT. The Lord wants to use you to change your entire family because there is a yoke that has sat upon that family. I don't know who that sin is, but I want to pray for you right now. Oh, 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 he's able. New season, new season, new season. By the power of the Holy Spirit, a new season for you in the name of Jesus Christ. You are a businessman, I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, a new season, I release you now. Let it be a new season. Let the door be open for you. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. I pray for all of you who are involved in IT. The power of God is coming on one of you. I don't know who, but I just saw that light. The Lord is opening that door right now. I shift you. He already told you wealth is spiritual. I shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Step into a new level. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, where is that gentleman who was doing the welcome note? Him and one lady. One gentleman here. God wants you. Where is is that him? Yes, sir. What do you do, my friend? Huh? He's an IT Because specialist. Yes, I'm seeing that he's part of the people that I'm talking about. I don't know anything about you, my friend. I'm just walking with the vision that the Lord... You, are you into IT? Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus. A new season for you. A new season for you. A new season for you. I connect you by the Spirit to systems and structures. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hear me. Listen. I don't mean to brag, but let me tell you this. Territorially speaking, there are people called kingmakers. That's right. They don't become kings themselves, but they can enthrone kings and they can remove kings. Spiritually, there are people God has given grace. They are spiritual kingmakers. But they can take advantage of that grace and can enthrone people and shift destinies. Believe me, once, you see, the problem is once the grace of God is not administered within the boundary of scripture, that is where it becomes error and it deceives people. But the moment the grace of God is dispensed within the coordinates of scripture, you cannot be in error when you are within the boundary of scripture. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is opening my eyes. I'm seeing, um, you, you are in South Africa, but I'm not sure you are originally South Africans. It's like an Indian family. I don't know if there's, if there's someone like that or a family. The Lord wants to bring a visitation you are from India. If, if there's someone like that, I just want to pray for you. India, this is what I'm seeing. Wherever they are, if you find them, let me just pray for them. This is what the Lord is ministering to me. One of them, you are wearing a nose mask that is this color. This color like, like blue. You are a young, slender, gentle man who is tall like that. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. Oh, 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 be able. Oh, 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 don't worry, my friend. Don't worry. Don't worry. Thank you for coming, sir. Thank you for coming, ma. Can I pray for you? I'm looking at you, and the Lord is saying He's bringing an anointing on the entire family. And that he's going to, I don't know what it is that you do, but I want you to mark my words from today. There is such a marvelous grace. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, take that grace. 
by the power that raised Christ from the dead. That anointing is coming upon you and you will begin to step into realms of possibilities. In business, in family, I decree and declare that grace rests upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to pray for the sick now. Oh dear. Bernice, Bernice, like B E R N I C E. Bernice, 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 you are at the back. You are wearing something like a brown, white and brown. Bernice, is there someone like that? Be are you coming from the back? Is she coming from the back? You believe in Jesus? Oh, it's your sister. Can I pray for you? Hold hands together. Lift it up. Father, turn this family around. Here at this conference, take that fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, please hear me. We are going to do three things very, very quickly. Help this woman. I'm seeing oil coming on her head. This Indian woman. I'm just seeing an angel pouring oil on her head. And the Lord is saying, even in old age, you will do much for the kingdom. Hallelujah. Now, Three things we are going to do very quickly. How many of you came with your prayer requests? Now here's what I want you to do. I want to pray for the sick now. But whilst we are doing that to conserve time. If, if it is possible. Let's have a few ushers already. Just go around so that you can just drop your prayer request. Let's collate it. You, you already did that. Oh great. Beautiful. You already did that. Excellent. If there's anyone who is yet to submit yours. Just wave it. And there will be someone, ushers, please let's help them. If there's anyone, maybe a few ushers or anyone, if the ushers are busy, any of the workers, just help them so that we make this happen very quickly. Hallelujah. Grace for you. Who is this lady? Oh, huh? Okay, the lady, what's her name? Who knows her name? My dear, look at me. Where is your father? I want to pray for you because the Lord is bringing a visitation to your family. You believe that? I stretch my hands right now over you. And I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord will bring a great visitation to your father. And by extension the entire family. May the grace to make this happen rest upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hmm. Will you believe what I'm going to tell you now? We are, not, we are not marketing the flesh. I'm only responding to what God is doing. I'm seeing literally. Now, when we do this, this is not just some blind... Please listen, listen, listen. This is not just some blind marketing of the flesh but i'm seeing five people that god is raising for the sake of their families there is a dimension of strange financial empowerment i'm going to pray for everyone but these are five particular people you will come and stand one day upon this altar and you will say from that time where the prophetic word came god just connected you to men lord i don't know where the five people are but I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. You don't have to come out, please. Wherever you are, don't worry. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. Right now, may that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. Help them, help them, help that lady. Please. In the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. 
may that grace rest upon you you can be valuable but it takes the anointing to connect you to those who can recognize the value and even reward it are we together please sit down if you can for a while i want to pray for the sick now once i'm done with you please you can return to your seat so that we just ease off this and do this very quickly about to pray for the sick now once we collate the requests may i please request that once we have the prayer request please bring all of them just keep them here just come pour them here i'm about to pray for the sick i believe in the power of the holy spirit i believe in his grace to heal and to deliver i will tell you why i ask you to sit down please sit down if you can please sit down please sit down if you can now there are people here whose destinies have been tied down by delay. Just sit down. You don't have to stand up. I will tell you why I'm asking you to sit down. Please, ushers or people around, I'm going to pray and the grace for speed. Sit down. Sit down. Don't stand. Please sit down. It's going to come on people. Some of them will begin to run physically. I want you to hold them. That's why I said sit down. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus, the grace for speed upon your life and your destiny. Take that grace now. Don't bring them out, just hold them. Take that grace right now, from my left to my right. Everything that has slowed down the pace of your destiny. That are not apakakosh kadibata. Prende ketes kadibata. Speed. Ten years in one year. By the Spirit of God. Ten years in one year. Help them, hold them. Ten years in one. Hold them, please. Hold them, please. Hold them, please. So that they don't enjoy themselves. That's why I said sit down. Ten years in one year. I prophetically speak to anyone here. Every embargo that will not let you move forward. I stand by prophecy. I push you. Go forward. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Go forward in ministry. Go forward in business. Go forward in career. Go forward in family. Sir, are you a man of God? From where? Okay. Can I pray for you, sir? Because when I was praying for speed, the same vision I saw, please hold that lady, the same vision I saw that God was changing the shoes of a lady, that's what I'm seeing happening to you. I stretch my hands, sir. Oh, there is an oil and a grace that is coming on you. God will so shift you and shift the ministry. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, may that anointing come upon you right now. That the things that you could not do yesterday, grace comes upon you for today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. There are many of you, like Joseph, you have helped many people, but they have forgotten you. You were responsible for the building of many businesses. You were responsible for supporting people. Some of them, when they came into South Africa, they didn't know their left from their right. God used you to put their lives in place. The wine press have forgot Joseph and added two years to his captivity. But in the name that is above all names, I call upon my God who is also your God. Tonight, let the book of remembrance be open. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hear me? And the Bible says, And that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep. And he said, Bring me the chronicles. And they found where Mordecai saved his life and was not rewarded. And he says, Who is in the chamber there? And the evil man, Haman, was called. He said, What shall be done to this man? Thinking it was him, he gave the best suggestion. He said, Do the same immediately 
to Mordecai. I want to pray for someone here. It may look like you have been forgotten. Can I tell you the truth? People don't just remember. They are made to remember. Most of you from this night, I, I stand by the God of heaven and I tell you, you will receive strange calls this night. People, numbers that have not attended to you for years. I fear God, I will not stand here and waste your time. You are intelligent and responsible people. I know what I'm saying that is making me say what I'm saying. Let me repeat it again. There are many people this night, I am telling you as, as, as surely as the sun rises in the day and sets, I pray for you and I declare according to the vision of the Lord, those who have forgotten you, in the name of Jesus tonight, we place an anointing upon your life. Let there be remembrance for good. Let there be remembrance for good. Now listen, we want to pray for the sick. Just sit down there. I'm about to pray for you. Now listen carefully. No, no, no. You don't have to bring them out except if she's just dro dropping something. Don't worry. I'm going to pray for everyone. Mama, don't worry. You sit. I'm going to pray for you now. Now please hear me. Shortly I'm going to ask you to stand. I'm asking you to sit because that's the only way to bring some order. Now we'll do this very, very fast. The prayer requests, remember when they are ready, please you can bring them here and just place them before the Lord. I want to pray for the sick. I believe in miracles. Now when I pray for the sick very quickly, I'm going to request that you do what you could not do before. And the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you, please, if possible, if I can have maybe one or two pastors just somewhere here, so that they can confirm you and then we'll take a few, yes, any of you at all. We can take a few miracles. Some of you already, from what has happened, you are seeing that there are already miracles. I want to pray for you. You made a way when our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over you made a way and we're standing here only because you made made a way you made a way you made a way you made a way don't know how but you did it you made a way Are you ready now to be prayed for? Listen to me. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. Peter was preaching in the house of Cornelius and this is what he had to say. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good and healing not they that were sick, they that were oppressed. For God was with him. I'm about to pray for you. And I want you to believe. You came with someone sick. I want you to believe. Whether you are inside or outside. Jesus is wherever you are. Some of you are standing in for loved ones who are not here. Wherever you are, I want to pray for you right now. Please stand on your feet if you can. Now, the moment I pray, those under the anointing, you don't have to bring them out. Just guide them. I want to pray for you. 
believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. We are standing to respect that anointing. Believe in impossible miracles. Right now. I have seen God work wonders and miracles in the lives of people. And tonight, it is my joy again as we celebrate the mighty and the marvelous hands of God. Now, someone is going to shout loud under the anointing. Listen, the moment that happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. I'm only asking you to stand in faith with me and to agree as I pray. That's not the shout. The shout you are hearing. That's a shout there. Now let's pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on South Africa. You can say amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hmm. My God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My God. The power of God is moving here. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Right now I decree and I declare. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every spirit that is back of any disease and infirmity. Hear the word of the Lord. I command you let their destinies go now. Release their destinies now. Release their destinies now. Now I decree and declare, help them. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. From the crown of your head, even to the soles of your feet. Oh, that fire is coming on you now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood conditions. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood conditions. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. HIV. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Every bone condition. Inability to walk. Inability to stand. Using an aid. I command be healed now. Every kind of blindness, partial blindness, complete blindness, I command those eyes to open now. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Deaf ears be open now. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a lady you have, I don't know, a growth around your breast area. I command that devil to go now. Every growth around your body, hear the word of the Lord. I command that it dissolves and goes now. Peptic ulcer. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Asthma. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Severe heat around the body. Just your body, whether it's cold or hot. There's, there's that hotness around the body. The power of God is touching you right now. There's someone you couldn't lift your hand. I don't know what pain you came here with. But right now, as I'm praying, the power of God is touching you. I'm seeing someone, I don't know what the condition is now. But you are not able to turn with your neck. You feel severe like a sprain. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you. Be healed in the name of Jesus. There's someone having heart, a heart condition. I don't know what the condition is, but it is, you have a problem with your heart. We correct it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Pile. Very painful condition of pile. Right now, as I pray for you, the power of God is touching you right now, where you are. Be healed right now.
someone just at your back here the lumbar area i'm seeing that you've had severe pain it's almost as if you cannot stand and stretch i declare right now the power of god is touching you please believe it the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ your left leg for someone your left leg i don't know whether I, around your knee area i don't know what the problem is but the power of jesus is touching you right now amen high blood pressure goes down right now goes down right now goes down right now hepatitis the lord is healing hepatitis of all sorts in the name of jesus be healed right now i don't know what problem you have with your throat um it, it's been so for a very long time so it is not covid but you have it's almost as though your throat is always dry you've tried to treat it and it's not being healed and you feel almost as if there is an injury there I'm praying for you right now. The power of God is touching you this moment. And if there is any family member you know across South Africa who is suffering from COVID-19, in the name of Jesus Christ, may the power of God touch them wherever they are right now. Hallelujah. Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, from the crown of your head, my God, there are miracles. Be healed right now. There's someone you don't see very well. Right now, as soon as I'm done praying, right from where you are, God is opening your eyes to see. Very, very clearly. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, is it appendicitis? You are already beginning to feel very severe symptoms of it. But the power of God is touching you wherever you are right now. In fact, the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing someone right now in the hospital. This is a kidney problem. I don't know if it's your father or someone, a kidney problem. This is, this is a situation that humanly speaking, except maybe a kidney replacement or something of that sort. Otherwise based on the current kidneys almost damaged but in the name of jesus christ we speak life to the body of father wherever he is be healed right now in the name of jesus now hear me a miracle has happened right now i want you to check yourself very quickly do what you could not do don't be afraid do what you could not do. The moment you find out that the power of God has touched you. For those outside, if they are coming in for a miracle, then please just allow them. Just come. Um, who are they meeting? This gentleman. Okay. This is what will happen. The moment you find out that the power of God has touched you, very quickly, wherever you are, be bold. And I want you to run and come here. Some of you, even while the service was going on, as you were falling under the anointing, there was a miracle. Are you celebrating miracles here? my goodness my goodness god is healing people come check yourself make your way to the front check yourself confirm that miracle creator of the universe what can you do what can you do jesus you couldn't lift your hands look at this Look at this. He couldn't lift his hands. You're the name above every other name. What can't you change? What can't you change? Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, we have to be orderly. Maybe we'll do two rows. One here and maybe someone else there. Just arrange them like you see this man. Whoever is coordinating them, help that man under the anointing. Are we together, gentlemen? Hold on, please. Help me coordinate these people here so that we, we do, just do it like this. Let's have two rows. Do you understand what I'm saying? You may have to shift them from the back. 
So you can just join a queue there, so we'll make it very fast. Yes, please. You had an accident this morning. The car rolled three times. You had an accident? Yes. When I came, Look at this. Really? Times. It rolled three times. And when I came here, I was in so much pain. And whilst you were preaching, our God healed. I couldn't do this. You could Oh my God, look at this. It rolled three times. Praise be to God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, you will not die. You will live. You have no covenant with death. The fullness of your days you will fulfill. And for this God that seems damaged, may my God restore a thousandfold. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please, very quickly. So she had a lump on her chest. Yes. On, on go ahead. Let, let me hear her. Can you help us with the volume? Yes, please, go ahead. I What's a, your name? Tina. No, don't give them the mic. Just hold it for them. Yes. I had a lump on my left breast, made of God. To an extent. For how long? I think now it's for 15 years. But 15 I'm years? Here. Right now, what happened? When you, you, you said there is a lady that has a lump. This lump was painful in such a way that I could not even hold my child very tight or anyone trying to hug Because me. of the pain? Yeah, it, it, it even caused a mark in, 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 in my breast. What in happened right now? I felt the heat, as you were saying, there is a lady and the lump is not there. Anymore. It's gone. Yes. My goodness. <laughs> Over 15 years. I stretch my hands. Place your hand there. This miracle remains permanent by the power of the Holy Spirit. Never to return to you again. Celebrate your miracle. God bless you. Yes, please. This sister had a pain in the back. She had a pain in the back. In her back, which started after she had a dream. Let, let her speak. I had a dream. I was reaching on my father's place. Then there was a voice which said, you, you mustn't come here. I'll send you to the graves. So from that, it was 2017. And what? 2017? Yeah. And you've had a pain? Yeah, a pain. What couldn't you do? I could, if I sit down, if I do like this. Okay, Ben, stand up. Ben, stand up. Any pain? Any pain? It's gone. In the name of Jesus. Everything connected to ancestry and inheritance, it never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please, very quickly. Um, man of God, I was, for a month now, I was having severe back pain. I went to the doctor and they said they weren't seeing anything. Instead, they found a lump in my breast. Luckily, the lump wasn't cancerous, but the back pain was still continuing. I kept on going back and they said they didn't know what it was. Last week, they said my kidneys were swollen and they gave me antibiotics for the kidneys. Every time I was eating, any time I would take a pill, any time I would try and eat something, I would just vomit it out again. When I came today, I was having severe pain on my side and over okay. here. And after you prayed, I... Right now, yes. check yourself. Take that grace over forever. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Apostle, you spoke about lower back pain, and I've been experiencing lower back pain as a result of my one foot being shorter than the other. But as you prayed, I felt the power of God, the Hold mobility. On. What happened to you? My one leg is shorter than the other. So from the age of 15. Oh, one leg is shorter than the other? Yes, by about an inch and a half. So it's actually put a lot of pressure on my knees oh. and my hip. So the mobility, even when I've gone to see a chiropractor, it's like my balance is kind of shifted off. But even tonight, I've just felt the mobility come back, even as Completely. I bend my knees. Look at this. Look at this. Run. 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 Hallelujah. My God, what a miracle. One leg shorter than the other. And so he would, he would feel that, that, that strain on his leg. But Jesus. He will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, very quickly we have to pray. A man of God. Last year I, I had a dream. I saw a cat coming in my bed. It's been happening for a long time. Yes, and, and what happened? What, and, was, what, was the, what was the result of I that? I had a, a heart problem after it. And then, two months ago, I had a dream. Someone was wrapping something here in my bag. 
And then after that, I've been feeling something here, heavy in my and bed. And right now? And yes, even right now. But what now, happened to you? Uh, I don't know. It's just disappeared right just now. Just disappeared? Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural healing for you. I'd like to hear this gentleman's testimony. What happened to him? This, this my, yes, this my friend. What happened to you? I'm seeing uh, there, there, there's a bandage. Yes, go ahead. Apostle, um, um, my three brothers and I were, um, were part of an accident. And by the grace of God, we were saved from a car that was written off. You had an accident? Yes, oh about a week ago. Oh, your two sons were with you? Yes. Is that true? Yes. Oh, my God. We were actually, we were actually on our 21 days of fasting. And the day we were praying against the gods of South Africa. All the gods that day, I remember I cursed all the strange altars in the land. And as soon as we finished the prayer, they drove out from here and a drunkard left his lane, ran on them head on collision. Three of them could have died that day, if not God. And there was no death? No, no death. Now, what happened, what happened to you, my friend? Oh, you broke your arm. No, he broke his arm. The other one broke his leg. You broke arm. your arm? Yes. Could you lift it before? Lift your hand now. Come on. Bring it down. Lift it again. Hallelujah. Now, in the name of Jesus, I declare perfection for you. Complete perfection. Let me use this opportunity and let my voice with Apostle Felix and decree and declare. If there is anyone here and the spirit of death is roaming around your life or your family, by the God of heaven we decree and declare. In the name of Jesus Christ, you have no covenant with death. You have no covenant with death. Amen. You are protected in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your family members are protected in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be protected in the air. Amen. Be protected on land. Amen. Be protected by sea. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Indeed, I speak to you that the rod of the wicked will not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Yes, please, very quickly. Uh, I was feeling piles. My father is also sick with piles. So when you are sitting close where there's a air con or it's oh, cold. The, the people. This is your son. He broke his leg. So he can't, he can't walk without. It's good that all three came out. Oh, they had the surgery last week. My God. Major surgery. Can I pray for three of you? In the name of Jesus. This is the one who seems to be most injured. And you couldn't walk without this. Has he gone through the surgery? Okay. In the name of Jesus. Let there be complete recovery for all of you right now. Pain, I curse you by the God of heaven. Now, when we minister to people like this, you have to understand that we are not downplaying the place of medicine and what the doctors are doing. Are we together? We are not, we are not in antagonism. We are standing in partnership with them. So we are not violating the laws. He's gone through a surgery. And, and I, I just want you to understand because there is a way people minister healing that looks like they are fighting doctors no we are not we are all in partnership to see that God's people experience wellness is that alright I just needed to put that very very straight so that you get that but in the name of Jesus for all three of you gentlemen may the Lord bring you speedy healing and perfection the leg that went through this surgery in Jesus name it will be perfected, perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit. Right now, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. My God, there are so many testimonies. I understand there's a curfew. Let's see how we can take a few 
and then I'll just bless the remaining because we have to pray and I have to speak over your life. Very quickly. I, I was in piles. I feel a, a severe pain on my back. So sometimes when you are sitting close where it is cold or it's cold, it's June, July, I feel cold like I, I feel the very strong pain. But yes. now, Completely. Um, even when I fail, I was supposed to feel it and I was sitting close to the pain there. I can't feel it. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. I have a problem with my bones. I had surgery when I was 18. You had surgery? Yes, the doctors didn't know why, what was happening, even with my feet. So I moved my bones inside in movement. It's like a hammer against uh, cement or something. Or they crack or they crackle, and I'm still very young. The doctors didn't know what was wrong. What happened to you now? But now I got like, a tingling in my, in my feet, and I can move without any sound and crackle. And Completely. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Apostle, I was having a sore throat. In the, in the mornings, I used to, blood used to come out from my mouth like this. Blood? So, yeah, just from nowhere. But now we, I don't have anything. Completely. In the name of Jesus, yes. Man of God, something moves on in my left, right from my left foot, through my waist, into my head. And when the thing is moving, I can literally trace it with my finger. Something just moves, moves like that? Like that. How long body. has that been? For years, it has been like that. Okay. So when you said something at the left hand side of this person, I felt heat that I could not explain. And the movement started seizing. Immediately, I nearly fell actually, but I was like, what's going on? Is it like, it's like current, electric current moving in me immediately. And now I'm free. Completely. Free from every manifestation of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. My goodness. Okay. Yes. Uh, Apostle. Let's just have, let's just have, okay. Yes, go ahead. Yes, uh, since last month, uh, after coming back from work, I had a sharp pain at my back. A sharp pain? Yes, and when I came even yesterday, I was in a lot of pain. And I was sitting there today. When you were praying, I just was holding my back. Now the pain and is gone. And completely, the pain is yes, gone. Yes, yes. Now, can I just have one, maybe one more here? I was having constant stomach pain for a while now. But and whenever I would press in, I would feel the pain. But now I cannot feel the completely. pain. I can press as many times. And completely. I'm not feeling now, very quickly... For the sake of time, I sincerely have... Okay, let's take us as a last. And yeah. then I'll just pray for everyone. Don't worry, you have... You can register in your testimony for tomorrow so that we can redeem the time. And just quickly pray on the request. And I speak over your life. Praise the Lord. Yes. Men of God, from beginning of this year, my, my knees started to crack. And they were so painful. And when we were praying, I felt a warm sensation going down. And the pain just... Completely. Couldn't Check yourself. Yes, I, I can do it Any pain? No, no. Completely. Completely. And, in the and, name of Jesus. And, and men of God, I had abdominal pains. And last week I went to see the doctor and he said I have fibroids. And as you were praying, I tried to, to push back and I, I could not feel that abdominal pain. Completely. Uh, completely, men of God. Completely. We command that fibroid to disappear from your body. Never returns to you in Jesus' name. Now for all of you who have been healed and those who could not make it out, in the name of Jesus, even as you have come, we declare that your healings are permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God that has touched you, we decree that that same power will preserve you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Please stand on your feet if you can. Hallelujah. Now I believe... Let me share with you a scripture very quickly while praying. Second Kings chapter 19, please, from verse 14. Second Kings chapter 19 and, okay, thank you. Second Kings chapter 19 and verse 14. Now, please look up. The Bible says, And Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. And Hezekiah went up into the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. Next verse. And Hezekiah prayed before the Lord and said, O Lord God of Israel, which dwelleth between the cherubims, thou art the God, even thou alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth, and hast made heaven and earth. Uh -huh. Lord, bow down thy ear and hear. 
open lord thy eyes and see and hear the words of Sennacherib, which hath sent him to reproach the living god of a truth lord the kings of assyria have destroyed the nations and their lands and have cast their gods into the fire for they were no gods but the works of men's hands wood and stone therefore they have destroyed them 19 now therefore O lord our god i beseech thee save thou us out of his hand that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that thou art the lord god even thou only next verse then isaiah the son of amos sent to hezekiah saying thus saith the lord god of israel that which thou hast prayed unto me against Sennacherib, king of Assyria, I have heard. That there are times in our lives where we can be so overwhelmed, even if we have to prophesy, we see in part. If we have to minister, even if in a vigil, there is only so much we can do. I love to pray for requests like this because it's the most accurate representation of your desires. You wrote it by yourself. And many of them, things you may not be able to share. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to just stretch your hands in one minute towards the altar. And I'd like you to begin to pray that these Egyptians I see today, I will see them no more forever. Is it alright if I call Apostle Felix to just join me in this prayer? God bless you, sir. We are going to pray and declare over these requests. Halina parasuga da brande ge barakoshi ke teple de ge di baratasia. Zata parus ga de bala. Stretch your hand, South Africa. That sentence is averted by the Spirit of God. Shana bakato za brande ge de bala kato ska de brande ge bala. Ita kata brande ga borisa se ge de bala ge Behold your threatenings. Stretch your hands to heal that signs and wonders may be wrought in the name of your Holy Son. Declare that everything you have written here that has mocked the integrity of God over your life, it falls like that on before the heart. Paradaka ye kete brakete lega de ve shakete ya ramara rabada rakade bo sobre kete shana bagate brande ke parusi. Don't be tired. You are speaking to the God of heaven. You will return with all inspiring testimony. Brakata la barata ya la brakadash rabadash. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, behold their threatenings. Behold their threatenings. And therefore now, Lord, we decree and declare by the God of heaven, in the name of Yeshua, Jesus, the Son of the living God, that everything that represents the desires of your people right on this altar, is now turned to a testimony Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ by the power that raised Jesus from the dead every affliction everyone in captivity everyone that has been held bound everyone seeking their body let there be an immediate answer now in the name of Jesus we declare a turn around, a turn around, a turn around in the name of Jesus. Lord, we command speedy answers. Speedy answers. Speedy answers. The word of the Lord came to the servant of God. And he said, by this time tomorrow, a bar.
barrel of meal shall be sold for a shekel at the gates of Samaria. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the power that raised Jesus from the dead, and in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare in 24 hours, the same way the fig tree dried up from the root, in 24 hours, in 24 hours, in 24 hours, in 24 hours, we declare testimonies. Father, you read the letter that Sennacherib spread on the altar. Father, we are asking you, O oh God, read everyone's heart desire now. And the same way Isaiah declared to Sennacherib that God has heard your prayers, we now speak prophetically like you said from the mouth of your servant to Hannah, Lord, that the God of Israel has heard your petition. The God of Israel has heard your petition. The God of Israel has heard your petition. Now receive your answers. Receive your answers. Receive your answers. Receive your testimony in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I stand in faith again and I declare. He said, Moses, why do you cry unto me? He said, tell the people that they go forward. Yes, sir. Therefore, I prophesy to every one of you. Every request here that has kept you backward and kept you stagnated. I decree and declare by the voice of prophecy. Yes, Lord. From tonight, go forward in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I declare over you that these Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. Amen. May you see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus. Hear me? Every human vessel that must partner with the Holy Ghost to bring answers to this prayer. Yes. We prophesy to the north, the south, the east and the west of South Africa. Wherever the men are, we gravitate them towards your destiny. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You hear me? Anyone who says over their dead bodies, for these prayers to be answered, we command the earth to open and swallow them. Amen. Every altar that sponsors this pain, every altar that sponsors this discomfort, every altar that sponsors this tears, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we set them on fire. Amen. We set them on fire. We set them on fire. Yes. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. I decree and declare everything responsible for emptiness in your life. It comes from that judgment now. Amen. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Now listen. Hallelujah. I decree and declare. The anointing required for the next level of your kingdom assignment. I stand in partnership with the angel over this house. There are many of you who are the next revivalist in this nation. Oh yes. Many yes, of you yes. are the financial apostles, political apostles. At the count of three, I must do this impartation. Wherever you are, some of you have seen it in dreams that you will be the ones packing the stadiums for the kingdom. Take that fire now. Amen. Take that fire now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. The move of God will not be without you. Take that fire. 
in the name of Jesus. The grace to excel in ministry. The grace to do ministry with integrity. The grace to excel in business. Receive that grace. The mantle for the marketplace. Receive that grace. The mantle for politics and governance. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Hear me. I decree and declare over your life that as God is recruiting this end time army, men and women who will be at the cutting edge of God's prophetic agenda, yes, yes, oh, yes. may He find you in this season. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. By reason of this prayer, many of you will begin seasons of training with the Holy Ghost. He will begin to walk with you. He will begin to show you things. Every anointing that has been reserved for this end time over South Africa, we stand by the privilege of priesthood. We declare heaven, release it to God's people in the name of Jesus Christ. Apostolic mantles, yes. prophetic mantles, yes. evangelistic mantles, yes. pastoral mantles, yes. entrepreneurial mantles, yes. governmental mantles. Yes. Take that grace Fire. in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire! Shaya, ya, 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 your ministries in the name of Jesus whatever has stagnated you so that you will not go forward by the power of prophecy we push you go forward go forward yes greater exploit amen for Jesus amen. greater exploit amen. for the kingdom amen. in the name of Jesus amen you hear me please do not miss tomorrow's service but let me speak Every altar over South Africa. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Every planting. Ordinances of ancestry. Foundational orchestration. Destroying the destinies of men. We come by the rod of the higher priesthood. And in the name of Jesus. We set those altars on fire. We set those altars on fire. We set those altars on fire. Hallelujah. We speak to the two leaf gates of South Africa. That everything that has closed you. We stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic. Let the gates of South Africa be open now. Amen. Be open now. Amen. Be open now. Amen. Open for greater development. Open for greater revival. Open for greater manifestation of God's power. Hallelujah. And we stand in partnership with the government and all who have continued to fight COVID. They are doing their best medically. But we stand with the tokens of the prophetic. That's right. We speak over the spiritual climate of South Africa. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Yes. COVID-19, we call you by your name. And we curse you by the God of heaven. Amen. We call you by your name. And we curse you by the God of heaven. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We decree and declare. Everyone who has lost money, everyone who has lost opportunity, people have cried because of the, the whole pandemic. In the name of Jesus, may the restorer restore you a thousandfold. Amen. Hear me? Every spirit that sponsors crime. Every spirit that sponsors corruption, yes. every spirit that sponsors moral decadence, Amen. hear the word of the Lord. Yes. We sound the shofar of revival over South Africa. Oh, yes. Yes. Thy yes. kingdom come, O oh God. Thy kingdom come, O oh God. From city to city.
city from region to region. Let there be a wind of evangelism, a wind of salvation, a wind of the prophetic. In the name of Jesus, arise. Let men of fire arise. In the name of Jesus. My last session with you is tomorrow in the morning. And let me encourage you, please, whatever sacrifice you will make for tomorrow, I will share with you the last key that controls the move of God. And there will be a final ignition upon your spirit, man. Amen. Make that sacrifice. Amen. But as for tonight, I assure you that you must return with a testimony. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you in Jesus' name. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you